Today I'm going to tell you about the different types of staging that can be used when you're doing drama. The audience doesn't necessarily always have to be in one place looking straight onto the stage all the time. There are a number of different concepts that you can use and I'm going to go through a few of those things for you now. The first of those is a normal proscenium arch theatre. A proscenium arch has wings at the side and the audience sits in seats facing straight onto the, um, to the actors. The next one that uh, you'll have learned about will be Traverse Theatre, which is where there's an audience on one side and there's also an audience on the other side. And the action takes place right down the middle of those two strips of audience. You see that quite a lot on catwalks and you see it also in um, parades as well, such as the ones that you find at Disneyland, for instance. The next type of staging is Theatre in the Round, which is exactly what it says on the tin, really. Um, and that's round theatre in a circle or in a square right around the actors. The final type of staging that I want to teach you about today is thrust staging. This is where the, um, the actors are on a stage which is literally thrust into the audience with the audience this side, this side and then facing them at the same time. So it's very similar to in the round but without the audience being at the back of the actors. Those are four different types of staging. Now I've put some activities on this website for you to do and uh, you can follow those down here where the links are. It tells you about the different types of staging and then the two activities that I want you to do. First one is I'd like you to take three different types of staging and draw a picture of them without looking. The second activity I would like you to do is download the PDF file that I've made of a nine box grid of a stage. You've been given the nine symbols of where people stand on a standard proscenium arch stage. Upstage right, upstage, upstage left, stage left, center stage, stage right, downstage right, downstage left, then downstage. It's your task to put them in the correct boxes. Now remember as a hint, as we talked about previously, the everything that's on stage is backwards. Left and right is from the audience's point of view. So left becomes right and right becomes left. Up becomes down and down becomes up if you're standing on stage. If you get stuck with any of it, you can email me on the address that I put at the bottom of the website. Or, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can leave a comment on the YouTube video and I'll try and get back to you and help you as soon as possible. Once you've done those two pieces of work, you can print them out and bring them in and we'll have a look through them. So remember, my email address is at the bottom if you need some help.